Kenny Omega is returning to New Japan Pro Wrestling. Brian Danielson says he doesn't need the spotlight when discussing AEW Championship. Brandi Rhodes says in-ring return is not in her plans right now. Plus, we got AEW Full Gear Media Scrum notes and more. Brian Danielson says what brings him joy in wrestling these days is giving back to the business and helping younger talent. During an appearance on One Fall with Ron Funches, Danielson says if AEW wanted him to be champion, he'd do it, but that's not what inspires him at this point in his career. Saying, quote, what I feel like my job is in wrestling at this point is service, and that's actually what brings me the most joy. He also added, if AEW really wanted me to be a champion or whatever it is, I'd do it if they thought it was good for business or whatever it is. But that's not what inspires me or brings me joy. Being able to get in the ring with the younger talent and being able to give back. That's the stuff that brings value to my life now, especially as an older wrestler. As someone who is 41, I don't need the spotlight, nor do I even want the spotlight. Kenny Omega versus Will Ospreay for the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship is official for New Japan Pro Wrestling Wrestle Kingdom 17. The company formally announced Ospreay defending the US title against Omega on January 4th, 2023 at the Tokyo Dome. Omega last wrestled for New Japan Pro Wrestling on January 4th, 2019, in the main event of Wrestle Kingdom 13, dropping the IWGP Heavyweight Championship to Hiroshi Tanahashi on his way out of the company. And we've got an update on Brandy Rhodes, who is currently not looking at getting back into the ring. The 39-year-old spoke on the 10 Count podcast and said she had no plans to resume her wrestling career at the moment, saying, quote, I'm not going to say absolutes, but I will say right now, it's not my plan. I kind of did myself a good service, I think, in taking a beat. My number one priority when everything happened and we left AEW, my number one priority in all of that was making sure that my husband's dream was realized. Brandy noted that she's been working on other things, including Shot of Brandy, her podcast, cooking projects, and getting to spend time with her daughter. She said, quote, I won't say, no, it's not going to happen, but I will say that right now, it's not front of mind for me. Rhodes reportedly took part in a match at the WWE Performance Center in August. Her last official match took place on the January 6th episode of AEW Dark Elevation. She defeated Kylan King on the show. And we've got some notes from the AEW Full Gear press conference. Tony Khan announced at the post Full Gear Media Scrum that Revolution 2023 will be held at the Chase Center in San Francisco, California on Sunday, March 5th. It's the first time an AEW show has taken place at the venue. Khan also said the Elite have come back in previous roles and have assumed responsibilities like with the video game and backstage. He said it's great to have them back on screen and behind the scenes. Tony Khan has been in contact with Hangman Page and Adam Cole, but has no update on their return. He also didn't answer on the status of Miro or Andrade, saying they have a deep roster and use a lot of different people. Additionally, Khan still hasn't got exact details on their London debut, but are working on it. He said it could be really great revenue for the company and use full gear revenue as a comparison and goal. That's a wrap for this video. We will be back with more. In the meantime, do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online and check out some of our other additional videos.